What we've invented, it's called Gateway. It's a set of transportable parallel bars for pediatric physical therapy. That means that kids who have to perform physical therapy every day in their homes, in the clinic, or in the school, these can actually be folded up and taken to them, and it supports kids from zero to 10 years of age. So it only weighs 35 pounds. It can be folded up to the size of a large suitcase. It is fully adjustable from zero to 10. It has six different points of adjustment, and it can hold up to 120 pounds. The design was inspired by a number of different things. We looked at different crazy bridge pylons and then methods of adjustment for parallel products, things used for like gym equipment. So we actually went up to the University of North Georgia um, to talk to some of their um, the physical therapists in their department. They, they talked a lot about like moving from place to place and like having to go to these children's homes, but it's not something that you know we know how to do or like what kind of cars do they have and we had to ask all of these questions and get all of these different, all this different feedback from them. We are industrial design majors and that means that we focus a lot on our users and their needs and putting ourselves in their position. So most of the process was done together. We went out and we interviewed with physical therapists and we actually performed all of the therapy activities, so we've done it all ourselves. From there, we did many, many sketches and yeah. many models made of straws and laser cut wood and really tiny pieces of aluminum bar and worked together on how this would actually be made and uh, eventually manufactured. We do most of our work collaboratively. Uh, then the actual manufacture was, most of the math was done by Veronica, and then she built it herself. I think it was really the biggest principle of human-centered design, of being able to get into these shoes of these physical therapists and to truly understand everything that they do in their lives and they do in their work, and to see, okay, if they're doing this thing at this time, then how can I make something that complements that so that they don't really have to change what they're doing, but it, it helps them and it, it fits sort of right in with their lives. And I think that is sort of the biggest thing that we, that we learn as industrial designers that is really fulfilling to be able to apply. Thank you.